Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are doing well. Are you? Are you? I'm coping the best that I can right now, but I did promise you guys that I would come back and do kind of like a business casual outfits for two weeks worth of outfits if you're working from home. So that's what I'm doing today. And I have in front of me kind of like laid out different outfits with different styles so that you can kind of like rotate through them if you like and just for like different moods or different reasons if you need to wear them. So without further ado, let's just jump right into these outfits. So today's outfit theme actually encompasses more of like matching sets from top to bottom just to make it super easy for you guys if you're having trouble coming up with different outfit ideas. It doesn't necessarily have to mean like the exact same print and material on the jacket and the pants or the bottoms, whatever you choose to wear. Although a lot of mine do have the same prints on tops and bottoms. It can also just mean like the same colors overall. So if you have like a blue in the top, you know, we're blue in the bottom as well. But I just want to give you guys a 14 nice and easy looks for you guys to recreate at home if you wanted to, to save time in the morning, if you're trying to put together an outfit to look and feel professional when you're going to work from home, literally like 15 steps away from where you started. But I do definitely find that dressing up when I work from home helps me feel a lot more motivated and productive, which is why I try to make an effort as much as I can to dress up whenever I'm working from home as opposed to just like working in the pajamas or sweats that I woke up in. It's definitely not a good mindset to go to work in your office at home with the same clothes that you just woke up and you want to feel like a refreshed person and you're getting started for the day with a purpose so that's why i think it's important for us to dress up for work as long as we're gonna be working from home always make the effort too so that you feel much more productive so we're gonna actually start off with the outfit that i have on right now don't worry there's gonna be a cutaway to the side one of these two sides of me wearing this outfit anyway so i'll show you exactly what it looks like on but this is a full yellow outfit from top to bottom to jacket so because this is kind of like a more bright floral spring color and you probably Probably wouldn't wear this into the office because it is a crop top and quite short shorts. This is more the realm of the stylish, fashionable work outfit, if that makes sense. So if you're in a more casual office, you can definitely get away with wearing something like this. But if you're in a formal setting, I would highly recommend not wearing this. But if you just need to do Zoom calls or conference calls and you're only gonna be really showing the top half of your body, then you can definitely wear this at home because I think it's super cute. I love it too because in the summertime, if you want, you can also ditch the jacket afterwards and then go out with drinks with friends afterwards. But right now, since we're at home, you wanna conference call your friends afterwards, you just take the jacket off and conference call your friends and have a wine party or on the balcony. You can party in the balcony once it gets a little bit warmer outside, I would say. So this is outfit number one, this full matching yellow set. So outfit number two in the more fashionable springy theme, I picked an outfit that you guys probably already saw in one of my previous videos, but it is this adorable matching two-piece heart printed blazer right here along with these shorts. I love, 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 love this. I think you can actually get away with wearing this one in the office if you really wanted to by wearing a like a blouse underneath just because the shorts aren't overly short and it's not like an overly, I guess, fashionable look besides the fact that it's a cropped blazer but besides that i think you could get away with wearing this in the office if you really want actually now that i'm thinking about it if you ditch the top in this yellow set you could definitely wear a blouse with it as well and get away with wearing this work i think that is an appropriate realm for wearing this for the summertime if you're gonna do that so yeah the second set is this pink adorable black heart set <laughs> and i'm definitely gonna be wearing this as much as i can at home because i want to get as much wear of this that i can before summer ends because we don't know how long this is gonna last for and we definitely want to make sure we can look cute as long as we can even if we're gonna be working at home all right so outfit number three is also another blazer but this time it's going to be paired together with a skirt so i'm gonna show you guys the skirt first of all because this is a little bit more spring appropriate less fall winter and it looks like this and it has a little lace up front detailing right there and paired together with this blazer i think this looks really really chic like i said you could wear this at home you could definitely wear this to the office just put it together with a white blouse and it's going to look very very perfect i picked this outfit specifically because it's paired with the skirt and i felt like it would make you feel a little bit less hot in the springtime whereas in the winter you definitely usually would gravitate towards pants instead which is why i picked this one and i think it looks really chic with the plaid detailing when we think of suits we think of solid colors and i think that plaid is a great color for you to kind of like foray into if you want some more i guess dimension to your outfit and to add a little bit more detail without being overly fashionable because this is very still a classic print that you're wearing together with the jacket and the bottom so you don't have to feel like you're being too trendy in the office or if you're working but then again you're working from home so just look cute for yourself because that's all that matters the very last outfit that i'm going to show you guys from the more fashionable spring outfits is something that i got from i believe it was h&m earlier 
this year, no, last year, this is spring, when Mel and I, no, this is fall. Wow, I'm getting everything mixed up right now. This was back in September when Mel and I went to London. I picked up this outfit from H&M and I am obsessed with it. Print, first of all, is like a checkered hound's tooth. How beautiful is this red color of this jacket? It's like a nice deep burgundy red. So it's a nice classic color. And then paired together is this skirt that goes along with it that has kind of like, I should have probably rearranged this before I took it out to show you guys, but it has a slit in the front and it comes with a nice little belt. I love these sets because you can definitely dismantle them and take them apart and wear them with other pieces and I definitely did. I've already worn this set with a crop top and if you do want to keep this appropriate for the office, you can put it together with a white blouse. Literally a white blouse matches with everything here that I've showed you guys so far. So if you are at a loss as to what to wear with these clothes to make it more business professional looking, definitely pair it together with like a white blouse, a white tank top or a white t-shirt, depending on the realm of like how casual to how business appropriate you want to look. But this set is one of my favorites and I've worn it so many times even outside of work because I think it looks stylish and clean and chic at the exact same time. So we're gonna switch gears now and move over to more kind of like formal attire. This is more for somebody who has to hop onto a lot of conference calls or for some reason you still have to show up and work in the office. These are looks that you can definitely get away with. I personally wear these looks all the time anyways because I think they're really cute. So I don't know what to say there, but cute outfits coming your way for a full suiting look. First suit I'm gonna show you guys is one that I picked up from Sandro and I got this actually from the outlet so it was severely discounted because if this was full price, I think my bank account would be hurting right now if I bought it at that price. It is this beautiful white and red and I think it's a black pinstriped suit. Peter calls it kind of like my Beetlejuice candy cane suit. I don't care, I love it. It is this really nice jacket right here that's double breasted and then it actually comes with a pair of pants as well that are nice and tapered at the bottom and these are really high waisted so if you have a big lunch, you can hide it with these high-waisted pants. I love this suit, particularly for spring, even though it's not shorts or a skirt, just because the material is actually really lightweight. It's kind of like a linen blend. And also because the primary color of this suit is white, you get a very refreshing feel from it. I find that anytime I wear anything white, especially in the springtime, it feels like I'm getting a breath of fresh air. I don't know why. In the wintertime, it feels like a breath of icy cool air, but in the spring, it feels like a breath of fresh air, and I'm a huge fan of it. The print itself and the stripes are actually quite thin, so it's not overbearing when it comes to the eyes. It's nice and light. That's why I really like this one. I would definitely wear this to the office if I had an office to go to. Right now, it's just my den. So if I want to look professional on a conference call, this is probably what I'd be putting on. Second one that I picked has a more vintage look to it. I grabbed this one from Zara a couple months back, I think close to Christmas time, and I am obsessed with it. It is this kind of like, I wouldn't even know what you call this color. It's like a checkered print kind of like muddy brown and there's like green and blue stripes mixed into it but it gives you this very like grandpa I picked this suit up from your closet or I went thrifting for this suit vibe it has like a felt brushed feeling to the top of it so it feels it legit feels like you just got this from your grandpa's closet but it's definitely created with a silhouette for a more like feminine body so don't worry it fits me quite well and it also comes with this double breasted jacket if I could open this up for some reason it just Folded it too tightly, apparently. This is such a beautiful, chic, classic, and vintage look that you could definitely just wear the blazer on its own with like a very nice pair of like jeans, and it looks really cute. Or you can even wear just the slacks on their own with a sweater, and you'd still look chic. So I actually think that these are timeless pieces that you can actually get a lot of wear over and over and over out of your closet. And even if you wanna take them apart for casual wear, you could beyond just wearing clothes like this for the office time. So the very last business casual look I'm gonna show you guys is a matching set that wasn't actually sold together as a set, but I somehow saw them in my closet and realized that the two of them actually match really well color-wise. So I've actually been wearing them together quite frequently and I really, really love it. The reason why I would say this one's a little bit more business casual is because of the cowl neck on this tank top right here. So this is kind of like a silk material. I believe it actually is silk, yeah. It's a silk top and it has a cowl neck up top here, buttons stay on the back of the keyhole, and it is sleeveless, so very appropriate for spring. I don't love layering jackets over high cowl necks because I feel like it feels very suffocating. I prefer to go sleeveless if possible or just let the arms flow if there's a sleeve attached to it. I just don't layer as much because it's already so overwhelming up here with like the swabs of material kind of falling down on your neck that you don't need extra. This is a beautiful copper color and I paired it together. Actually, this one I forgot to mention is from RW & Co. Love it. They actually have this one in a bunch of different other colors as well. I'll try my best to link it. I don't think it's still available because I bought it at Christmas time, but I paired that shirt together with these copper colored pants that I I also got from H&M near Christmas time. It is like a nice golden 
chocolate brown but it has a sheen to it so when you look at it in the light it kind of tints it a little bit coppery golden which i love i actually bought these two pieces separately and then when i was looking at my closet i was like wow those match really well like they're not a perfect match but they're close enough that it could be a matching set so I have worn this together and I love this look. I've run through all of the trendy spring outfits and I've also run through all of the business casual outfits. Now we're gonna be jumping over and switching gears a little bit more to a very casual style, I would say. When I say very casual, it's because these outfits all incorporate jeans and I wouldn't necessarily say that jeans are appropriate for like a business setting, but paired together with a full monochrome look, I think it looks very chic and elegant. So this is how you can get away with wearing jeans in an office setting because you're working from home. So you can kind of push the boundaries a little bit and get a little bit more casual, but just don't jump into loungewear just quite yet if you want to look put together with these outfits. First outfit is all black because I love a good black moment. There's no, you gotta have at least one full black outfit in your wardrobe if you're working in a business appropriate setting. I have this black silk blouse. You know, just like a regular blouse, nothing crazy, just collared, roll up the sleeves, that sort of thing. And then I actually paired it together with these jeans from Guess and they have rips and holes at the knees. This is what I meant when I said casual. We're going very casual, but this is super high-waisted, so it gives you a nice dimension at the hips when you tuck the shirt into the pants. I am obsessed with this outfit, and I would honestly also pair this together with sneakers. If I can go back outside, or if I ever need to do groceries and it's warm enough by the time we're allowed back outside. Wear this outfit outdoors. I'd probably even throw on that kind of grandpa blazer from the other outfit, because I love that look together with like a very casual outfit. I think it looks very chic. So this is one of my favorite outfits at the moment. You'll probably see me wearing this quite a bit as I'm working from home over the next few weeks. Actually, you know what? Not over the next few weeks. I work from home every single day. So you'll just see me wearing this every once in a while, guys. I would not be able to get away with creating a full matching set lookbook if I didn't put in at least one Canadian tuxedo because, you know, gotta rep Canada. Also, I love the look. So I paired together these pair of jeans that I got. These are Levi's. These are the 501 tapered at the bottom, I think. They're a little bit slimmer down here. And it's just like a very simple vintage wash. Nothing too crazy, not too dark, not too light, and no rips whatsoever at all. Just a very clean pair of pants. And I paired it together with this jean jacket from Gap. I love this because you can actually wear it as a jacket, thrown over a t-shirt or anything underneath, or you can button it up completely and just wear it as a shirt. For the sake of this video, I'm gonna be buttoning it up and wearing it as a shirt just because I wanna show you what it looks like with the pants. But in the summer, I probably would wear a tank under this, like a crop tank, and then throw this over top afterwards just so that like I have something to wrap around me if I'm cold because of AC. And then if I need to go outside where it's a little bit warmer to run errands, then I can take it off and still feel nice and cool. We're not going outside right now, so I'm gonna be keeping this on the entire time, which is why I'm be wearing it as a shirt. The last casual outfit I'm gonna show you guys, I'll start off with the jeans, because I did say every single outfit in this section of casual outfits had jeans incorporated, are these pair of white jeans. These are high-waisted, kind of very wide leg jeans. These are by Affens, but I got this off of Princess Polly. I am obsessed with this pair. They fit so well, are so comfortable, and look amazing. I also love the button detailing, because it is white. It's interesting. I don't have any jeans that have white buttons at the top where the closure is. And then I would actually pair it together with this blazer. I would button it up and then tuck the blazer into the jeans themselves. Yes. You heard me right. I'm tucking the blazer into the jeans because I saw somebody do it and it looked really chic. All you have to do is just button it and crisscross it and then tuck the blazer in and it looks amazing. You don't usually see people wearing their blazers like this, but I felt like this was worth the opportunity of trying it since I'm at home and I won't look like a fool if I go outside wearing this because we're not going outside. So now's a better time than ever to kind of take some fashion risks if you can since you're gonna be at home. And if it doesn't work out, then I won't wear it out. But at least I know I tried and I think it's gonna look really cute. So an all white moment, like I said, very refreshing, super crisp, also very chic even though it is a casual look because you have a double breasted blazer. I feel like a double breasted blazer makes any outfit look so much more elegant and business appropriate. Very, very last category I'm gonna show you guys is kind of like the girly, casual, pretty vibe, I guess you would say. You know, we're all going to be working from home, but we have to get off work at some point and you wanna hop on a FaceTime or Zoom call with your friends to either watch a movie, play some games, wine, and this is where you can rock up the cute outfits, okay? Also, if you're trying to like date online right now, this is a great opportunity to put all those outfits to good use, catfish all those boys with your cute outfits because you don't want them to see your pajamas. They can wait to see that. So I put together a total of four really kind of like cute flirty outfits for you to get away with if you want to look cute while you're FaceTiming with your friends or the significant other that can't really see you but you want to look adorable for them. 
actually guys if you want to dress up for date night and have like a virtual date night please do this too i would love to see that this outfit is a wrap kind of checkered yellow top I love it, especially the sleeve detailing. How cute is this? It's all ruffled up. It's actually stitched like this, so it stays up like this. And it gives your sleeve so much more volume and dimension and texture. I'm just obsessed. And then when you wrap this, you actually tie this around your waist and you get a little bow at the side. It takes a little while to put together, but trust me, the outfit is really cute and worth it. And paired together is this skirt that also has ruffles that bring the detailing all the way down so it's cohesive from the top to the bottom. There is the ruffle detailing all the way around the hem and in the front of the skirt. And it's paired together with a larger check, so you kind of get a different texture play. And visually, it looks a little bit more appealing than instead of this whole outfit, which is the same check pattern. So I'm obsessed with this yellow one, and it makes me feel like summer because it's yellow. I'm thinking of Italy and citrus fruits and I could be there in two months but coronavirus is not letting me go to Italy it was supposed to be my honeymoon second girly outfit I'm going to show you you've already probably seen part of this in one of my other videos but I got another piece recently so it's a full set now I'm very excited to actually wear this probably will wear this around the house just because it's so fun to wear first up is a skirt you guys have already seen this and it is this song of style skirt from Revolve with the fringe detailing how cute is this honestly every time I see this skirt I just want to dance and I have a huge urge right now to go to the clubs because the weather's getting nice outside and I am patient enough to wait in lines but the clubs are closed because of coronavirus yeah we can't do anything anymore we can't have fun so I might just have to have a balcony party and wear this to myself because these fringes are literally made to dance around in so I'm gonna wear this dance on my balcony and have my own little party but pairing together with that is this top that's also a wraparound top oh I die for this so cute it's kind of hard for me to show it to you guys on camera it's gonna look way better in person i promise it's wrap around it has little sleeves that kind of folded up on the edges and i really wish i was in the bahamas right now so i could be wearing this because this would be such an adorable outfit to wear on the beach but i can't so i'm gonna wear it at home i'm gonna find excuses to wear all of my clothes at home since i can't go anywhere you know stay at home but look cute anyways because why not third girly cute outfit is this one from veronica beard picked this one up from Nordstrom rack a couple months ago when i was on a major discount so i'm gonna try my best to see if i can find similar-ish one veronica beard has a lot of similar styles so i'll try to find one that looks relatively similar to this if possible to, just so you guys can recreate the look it is this diagonal plaid pattern skirt this actually is very similar to the yellow skirt i just showed you guys because it has a ruffle detailing going down the front and all the way in the hemline of the skirt but on the side here it's actually you button it up with buttons it's on a zipper and they can even tie together a little bow with these two like i don't even know what you call it, excess ribbon on the side i don't know it's cute and then paired together is this top which is kind of strange because this top you actually button up from the back the first time I tried this on, I buttoned up the front and I was like, why am I choking? I can't breathe. Because it's actually designed to go up way higher than it would in the front. So you're supposed to button up the back and then the front looks like this. And then if you tuck this in to the skirt, it looks like one little dress. But it's super cute. Love the sleeves because it has a balloon detailing on it and it's extra long with the matching kind of like twist tie tabs at the bottom here. So it matches really well with the skirt. And I love this. This is so, so, so cute. Very last stuff I'm going to show you guys. And I just got this in the mail from Revolve. And it is this beautiful eyelet top from Song of Style. I love this. The only thing I didn't love so much about this is that it's not lined. So I definitely have to wear a nude colored bra or a tank top underneath. But besides that, it's not big of an issue. I am obsessed with the balloon sleeves. It is so so adorable and when tucked in this shirt is just like the most cutest little piece that i've ever seen it kind of reminds me of like kind of looks like stuff from Cezanne except Cezanne's extremely expensive and i don't have access to it in canada so i'm happy that i have this top because it's very similar to it and to go with the top is the matching skirt so this skirt is the cutest thing ever actually it's not a skirt it's actually a skirt because the front is covered up to look like a skirt but the back are shorts for sure so you're never going to flash anybody because it's actually quite short which is why it's a skirt. <laughs> so you can get away with wearing something this short without flashing anybody but it's so cute when you wear it together because it looks like a full dress and i just i love how seamless it looks so that is the entire video of 14 matching sets i hope i gave you guys some ideas and inspiration for what to wear when you're working from home beyond just loungewear if you want to dress up a little bit because you do get a little bit more productive when you're dressed nicely just saying studies have shown that psychologically it's a thing but i hope you guys really like this video make sure to follow me on instagram and twitter because i post every single day my handle is right here and if you guys want to check me out on tiktok as well i just started my account and i'm posting like at least twice a day some fashion some fun videos my handle is victoria huey also the exact same handle for my poshmark so if you guys want to check out my poshmark and see what i'm listing on there because i don't really announce whenever i post new things so my followers usually get first tips for anything that is listed immediately onto my poshmark so make sure you check me out there otherwise i hope you guys are having an amazing day and that you're staying at home safe and healthy i will see you guys in the next video bye